Hello, welcome back to Banner's Sea Life Loading. In this episode, we're gonna do something very simple. Basically, just uh, make it so that Grease Pencil actually has a shadow. Um, we're gonna use Sphere Chalk add-on for that. There's an update in Sphere Chalk that's allowing you kind of to, instead of having like a one frame delay, this one is actually uh, on point. So let's see how it, how it works. Uh, I'm gonna go to the front view and this is orthographic and I'm just gonna draw a stick figure using my mouse uh, something like this and probably make a character like this smiley face okay this is a grease pencil um, this is like a two and a half D kind of it's, it's flat but it's okay um, we're gonna make this guy to have some kind of shadow. Um, I'll create a floor and save this. This is grease pencil shadow. And I'll turn this first into something that's renderable. Um, selector, grease pencil, and leave it at active frame, but I think if I'm not wrong, if I do that, this thing is appear suddenly, and with that thing appears, we can uh, create frame and plug that into this guy, and that's actually gonna fix the one frame delay that Spreadshock has. So if I go to the front view again, and let's draw another drawing of this character. Maybe he's looking to the side and his body doing that. The legs can stay. So now we have a uh, two frame and you can see we don't have a uh, frame delay. Actually, uh, we can see that once we generate something from here. If you want to just um, quickly kind of uh, render it out, you can simply uh, assign a polyline viewer and then and that's actually your job pretty much done. And you can you are able now to render this out. Um, it doesn't matter how this guy actually have a lot of uh, points. If you actually care about that, you want to reduce the points and resemble this guy. And also, um, if you have some kind of pressure um, data you want to plug that into the radius for now I just keep it simple like this and I'll create create a maybe maybe a sun sunlight and the sunlight should cast a shadow and hopefully my computer can render this out there you go that's a shadow uh, maybe the shadow is kind of bluish and the sun is maybe a little bit more sunny so this is kind of like a sunset kind of view um, the, the polyline itself uh, you can make it not renderable and you can turn it into a single object so that's a single um, object you can, you can of course if you want to render this out as a 3D um, you can assign a proper material to the polyline so I mean something like that if that's a little bit thicker you can change it the grease pencil itself can be hidden uh, don't hide it here because if you hide it um, stretch off doesn't work anymore I mean actually it's still calculating interesting used to be doesn't work so anyway now this guy is animating and there's a shadow as well let's get rid of the the grid now it's very clean and we have the grease pencil it's kind of like 3d you can rotate the camera so that's pretty cool you have the shadow as well I think if you <clears throat> want to like uh, have like a blurry shadow you don't uh, you use like a spotlight or something this is the sunlight so it looks like this and now you can have animations and if you want to add more frame you go to the front view 
and display the grease pencil once again now uh, this guy you can hide it uh, like this let's make uh, this character kind of surprise uh, oh maybe I'm gonna put it like that Or maybe he is more surprised and his leg is up um, D and then I can erase this pretty easily he was so surprised and then his legs kind of doing that maybe he saw a celebrity maybe Ton Rosendahl something like that Whoa, see, whoa, who's that? And now we can display our grease pencil once again, and this is already 3D. And you can see this is like on point. If I change to that frame, it, it shouldn't like. I believe it doesn't like. Yeah, it doesn't like. Turn off onion skinning. And you can actually render this out and for example using a uh, proper render okay so that's pretty much it it's very very basic very simple uh, you see, you just um, need to use this object ID selector, set it to Grease Pencil, just plug in all the Grease Pencil um, data and then it will update accordingly and then you just plug it in into Polyline Viewer. And you have this uh, way to render shadow for your Grease Pencil. Okay, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you in the next video.